All right, big spot here for the former undisputed UFC middleweight champion, Israel Adesanya, and he's not too emotionally attached to a lot of these results. I expect a big effort out of him here tonight. You know, John, I love that you teed it up that way because I was just thinking that for a guy that seemed to be on a rocket ship to the moon, becoming a middleweight champion, he handles adversity as well as anyone I've ever seen. When he lost to Jan Bohovic, when he tried to become double champion, still even keel. When he lost his championship, even keel. I believe that ability will allow for him to work his way back to a championship opportunity where I expect him to be very competitive and possibly earn himself the belt back. And skill for skill, there are a lot of people that still believe he's the best middleweight in the world. A lot of the elite 185 pounders believe that Izzy and not necessarily Pereira represent the toughest matchup for them. We'll see how Adesanya fares in this critical matchup here tonight. of the tape for this light heavyweight championship fight. Now to get us started, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> in the building. He's the third man in the octagon tonight. All right, here we go. Israel Adesanya, Alex Pereira. I don't have to tell much of this fan base, Daniel, that in kickboxing, Pereira has two head-to-head -head wins over Adesanya, one of them coming via left hook back in South Carolina in 2017. Adesanya doesn't want to hear any of that noise tonight. He does not. If Pereira was able to knock him out in the second fight, but Adesanya had his moments. How does that all relate to fighting in four-ounce gloves? This is the highest level of kickboxing that we have seen in the octagon. And to have this opportunity to watch it is truly, truly good for me and everyone else that are sitting in front of their television. 
Oh, great block there. That one's good. Nice fight. Well, every MMA fight begins on the feet, and that is music to the ears of Alex Pereira, who has found a home for that left hook early. I mean, that's his best shot, man. We have seen Alex Pereira land this left hook in kickboxing to finish Israel Adesanya, and also inside the octagon where he knocked out Sean Strickland. It is such a powerful strike, and Pereira is a master of it. Alex Pereira gets caught by that straight punch. You gotta do better than that defensively. So he needs to mix it up. He needs to start kicking more. Oh, left hook to the head. It's blocked. And he's looking for that left hand. Just missed. Oh, nice combination. Yes. Oh, nice right hand by the chin. Oh. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Adesanya's trying for a submission here. That is tight. Fight IQ on full display there. Recognizing he was losing the sub. Elected to keep the dominant position. Oh, absolutely getting after it. Huge shots landing on both sides. And you hear the crowd react every time they come together because they understand the power that these guys are striking with. Oh, nice kick. And there he goes, lands another combination. His cardio is so good that, his, that it allows him to put forth this type of output and pitch. When his opponent is done at two, he is stringing together four, five, six more different strikes. You don't do that without having fantastic cardio. Beautiful kick to the body. 30 seconds now to go in round one. That's yeah. Somehow, his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh, what a round. How good was that? All right, there's the horn, and what a round it was for him, DC. And look at him walking back to that corner. He's feeling himself a little bit. Oh, he's feeling himself. And look at his coaches. They're all celebrating because they know that if they stay the course, if they do the exact same thing, they may be able to find the finish this time. All right, so he gets knocked down, but not out. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. A huge round on the other side. He had him hurt very bad. He found the shot. He got exactly what he wanted. When he saw the opening, he jumped on it, and he hurt his opponent very bad. If he can get back to that one more time, he may end the night. You ready to fight? You ready? Go Round ahead. two on the way. Oh, he blocked that punch. Nicely done defensively. Use of the jab to the body there by Pereira. Good jab. <laughs> Circling towards the left now. Well, he's got a pretty good side kick, and you saw it right there. <laughs> Not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot. That he lands. Great job. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands. Oh, no. oh, no. Just over three minutes to go now. Nice combination by the champ. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. All right, now you see some visible damage on that calf. We'll keep an eye on that. You got it.
beautiful defensive skills on display. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. Control DC. This is where you want to be now because you get Israel out of Sonya is looking for that arm triangle now. Oh, that arm triangle is wicked tight. He's starting to get it in very deep. He's bridging. Oh, he's no way he got out. He was able to create enough space to get his chest back flat on the mat and defend that arm triangle. Unbelievable. Oh, that rear naked choke attempt is tight. His position. Beautiful submission defense by this guy. He was constantly under attack. Crap goes to light tonight. Oh. Right, round three coming oh. up next. Stop, stop, stop. Hashtag swollen. His face is starting to close, my man. It looks really bad. I mean, early in the fight, we talked about addressing things right now. He didn't do that. And now it seems as though he's going to pay for it. All right, so back to the stools we go. They say defense wins championships, and he has not defended well tonight. He isn't trying, or at least it doesn't seem like he's trying. He has got to move his head. He's trying to react when the punch is already coming, and that's not working. If he takes many more of these shots, this fight is going to be stopped due to the swelling. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Round three of a possible five. Lock that punch. if there's a facial fracture of some kind, but the striking approach has certainly worked tonight, and his opponent is hurting for sure. He's hurting really bad right now. I mean, every single time a shot lands on top, you can see the damage that it's inflicting. The, the, the work that he has done has been... Right there, his opponent's wobble chair. He's hurt. I mean, you got to be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something, and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. The official decision is in. That's where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at one minute, ten seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed USC light heavyweight champion of the world, Israel.